episode of Kids Hub last week? Yeah, the one about the plagues God sent to Egypt because Pharaoh wouldn't let the Israelites go to worship God. Yep, that one! Oh man, that was such an exciting episode. Do you remember the plagues that came to Egypt? Hmm, let me see if I remember it. First was the plague of blood. All the water of the Nile River changed into blood, killing all the fish. And the river smelled so bad the Egyptians could not drink its water. Second was the plague of frogs. Yup, there were frogs everywhere. Third was the plague of gnats or lice. These are tiny bugs that bite both people and animals. Ouch! Fourth was the plague of flies. Oh man, flies are so annoying. They're swarming all over Egypt. Yikes! Fifth was the plague on livestock. All the livestock of the Egyptian died. Their chickens, cows, pigs, sheep. How horrible! Wow, Lucy! That's great you remember all of them. But did you know there were more plagues other than that? What? More plagues? Yeah, because Pharaoh was so stubborn that he refused to let the Israelites go. So God kept sending plagues through Moses. And the second part of the story of the plagues is now showing in Kids Hub. I guess it's time for us to watch. Let's go! Hey kids, welcome to Kids Hub. So we've been learning about the life of Moses and how God used him to tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. But Pharaoh was a stubborn man because he didn't know God and he was selfish and he just wanted to keep the Israelites as slaves to the Egyptians. So God sent plagues. Last week, we learned about five plagues God sent. Today, we are going to continue our story and discover that there were another five plagues sent. So that's five plus five equals ten. Ten plagues in total. So what are you waiting for? Let's go watch this video and see what other plagues God sent and if Pharaoh finally let the Israelites go. When Pharaoh refused God's command yet again, Moses threw soot into the air and it became dust that covered the land of Egypt, causing all the people in Egypt to break out into painful sores. 
Pharaoh's heart, hardened by God, made it so he continued to disobey God's command to let the Hebrew people go. God told Moses to go back to Pharaoh and warn him that the coming plagues would be much more destructive and harsh than the last. But Pharaoh still wouldn't listen. When Moses stretched his hand toward heaven, God sent a hailstorm unlike any that had ever been seen before in the land. It destroyed plants and homes and killed animals and people. Pharaoh confessed that he was wrong, but again his heart hardened and he rejected God's command. Then God sent a plague of locusts. These insects covered the land and devoured the last remaining plants and trees in Egypt, leaving the once lush farmland surrounding the Nile a barren desert wasteland. Pharaoh was still unwilling to release God's people, so at God's command, Moses stretched his hand up to the sky and a heavy darkness swallowed Egypt. For three days, no Egyptian saw another person or left their house. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron so he could try to make a deal to end the plague of darkness. Pharaoh said everyone could go to worship the Lord if all the Hebrew people left their flocks and herds behind. When Moses and Aaron refused this offer, Pharaoh commanded them never to come back or they would be killed. With the people still enslaved, God told Moses there would be one final plague, a plague so severe, Pharaoh would have no choice but to free God's people. God told Moses that throughout the land of Egypt, every firstborn boy would die. God told Moses to tell the Hebrews to cover the doorposts of their homes with the blood of a lamb, and God would pass over their homes. At midnight, the firstborn sons in every Egyptian household died, including Pharaoh's own son. From the lowliest of servants to Pharaoh's palace, there was no home in Egypt untouched by death. This plague so devastated the land of Egypt that Pharaoh commanded God's people to leave. The Hebrews, who had been in slavery for generations, had been set free. Hey kids! That final plague sent by God was horrible. I can't believe Pharaoh waited for such a severe punishment from God to happen before he actually let the Israelites go. If only he had believed that God is the one true God and obeyed right away, none of these things would have happened. You see, sometimes God allows horrible things to happen not just as punishment but ultimately to give people a chance to believe in Him. God only wants what's best for us and sometimes discipline is required to make us realize our mistakes. Kinda like how our parents discipline us. For example, my mom gives me up to three warnings when I'm being stubborn. And if I continue to disobey, I get punished and she doesn't allow me to play Minecraft for the whole week. But in our Bible story, did you notice that only those who didn't believe God were affected by the plagues? Those who believe God were safe and unharmed. This reminds me of the verse in Psalms 33 verse 18. This one is from the Good News Translation and it says, The Lord watches over those who obey Him, those who trust in His constant love. Let me say that again. Psalms 33 verse 18. The Lord watches over those who obey Him, those who trust in His constant love. Keep practicing this verse and remember to obey God right away. Got it? See ya! Hey, hey, hey! Guess that CEO was a lot sooner than you expected. Welcome to my awesome show, Pop Quiz! Are you guys ready to review what we've learned so far? Well, let's get that popping! Question number one. What were the five plagues discussed today? A. Rats, skunks, monkeys, thunderstorms, and chicken pox. B. Boils or sores, hail, Locusts, 
darkness, death of the firstborn. Or C, rabbits, butterflies, darkness, heat waves, death of firstborn. The correct answer is B. God sent boils or sores, hailstorms where it rains chunks of ice, locusts, darkness, and the death of the firstborn. Question number two. How many plagues did God send to Egypt in total? A. 5 B. 20 or C. 10 The answer is... God sent 10 plagues in total. Question number 3. Why did God send the plagues to Egypt in the first place? A. Because Pharaoh didn't want to believe and obey God and he wouldn't let the Israelites go. B. Because Moses did not obey God. Or C. Because God wanted the Israelites to know that he is the true God who will rescue them. Hmm, this one is tricky. The correct answer are actually A and C. God sent the plagues because Pharaoh didn't want to obey God because Pharaoh didn't believe in him. God also sent the plagues to show the Israelites that he is the one true God who will rescue them. Remember when Moses first told the Israelites that God will rescue them? The Israelites didn't believe him. In fact, they got mad at Moses for talking to Pharaoh because Pharaoh ended giving them more work. So the plagues were sent not just for Pharaoh but also for the Israelites who have forgotten who God is. That's all for now kids! Thanks for joining me today and I hope you answered all correctly. See you again next week! Bye! Kids, this ends our story about the 10 plagues. I hope you remember all of them. But most importantly, I hope you remember the reason why God sometimes let bad things happen. It is to correct us and to draw us closer to Him. God didn't only want Pharaoh to believe that God is the one true God. God also wanted to remind the Israelites who He is. Remember, they've been staying in Egypt for so long that some of them have forgotten who God is. God didn't want the Israelites to forget Him. God still had a special plan for them. The plan to bring about the Messiah, the Savior, through the nation of Israel as promised to Adam and Eve and Noah, Abraham and Jacob. God knows what's best for everyone and we just have to trust Him even when He disciplines us. And when we obey right away, God promises to protect and watch over us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our lesson today. Thank you for teaching us the importance of obeying you right away. Sorry if we're stubborn sometimes and we delay obedience. Please forgive us, Lord. Help us trust in you and remind us always how much you love us. All of these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That wraps up our episode today. Join us again next week and find out what happens to Moses and the Israelites as they exit Egypt. Bye!